Hi there. Real quick before we jump into the episode. If you enjoy this episode or any of the other episodes, be sure to give us a follow or subscribe. It would also be great if you shared it with a friend or better yet, left a review so others can know how awesome it is. Thanks so much. And now, the episode. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome to the Press Start Leadership Podcast, the podcast about game-changing leadership, teaching you how to get the most out of your product and development team and become the leader you were meant to be. Leadership coaching and training for the international game industry professional. Now, let me introduce you to your host, the man, the myth, the legend, Christopher Mifsud. Hey there, Press Starters. Welcome back to another awesome edition of the Press Start Leadership Podcast. On this week's episode, we'll be discussing mastering the game, nurturing a winning culture in game development teams. From character selection to victory dances, leadership strategies for fostering a collaborative environment in the gaming industry. Congratulations, you've just leveled up from being a game developer to a team leader in the bustling, quest-filled realm of the video game industry. As the XP from your victory celebration settles, a new, more challenging quest emerges on your HUD. Cultivate a winning culture in your game development team. Just like in any RPG worth its salt, the stakes are high in this quest. The prize isn't a legendary sword or an ancient artifact. It's the magical trifecta of employee engagement, job satisfaction, and productivity. As the party leader, you're the torchbearer of this culture cultivation crusade. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to transform a group of talented individuals into a cohesive innovation powerhouse. So ready your gear, brave leader. It's time to embark on a thrilling journey filled with quests, side quests, epic loot, and plot twists that will rival any story-driven AAA title. Chapter 1. Spawning the Team, the Pixelated People Puzzle. Your first hurdle appears right at the character selection screen. In the complex game of Team Assembly, you're not just choosing skills and abilities, but people who would play well together. Imagine planning the perfect Overwatch team for balanced gameplay. You need a diverse squad with different abilities and skills, but more importantly, you need a squad that can work together as a cohesive unit. Take our virtual heroine, Rashmi, a veteran game dev team lead. We're hiring for a pivotal role. She had two contenders, seasoned pro with an awe-inspiring portfolio, but a reputation for being a lone wolf, or a passionate newbie with a collaborative spirit, but only a handful of projects under her belt. Rashmi chose the latter, recognizing that a cooperative team dynamic often trumps individual brilliance. Pro tip. When hiring, look beyond skills and experience. A new recruit will influence team dynamics and culture in significant ways. An impressive CV is great, but make sure they also bring a positive attitude and a willingness to collaborate and learn. Chapter 2. Powering up the team. Leveling up communication. Imagine trying to coordinate a raid party in World of Warcraft without any communication. The scenario will quickly turn chaotic. Communication in your team works similarly. It's like a powerful area of effect spell that influences everyone and everything in your game development quest. Ensuring everyone understands their roles, responsibilities, and the overarching objective of the game you're developing is paramount to your quest success. Consider the tale of Pedro, a lead programmer. During a critical development sprint, He stumbled upon a bug that could potentially cause significant delays. Instead of pulling a lone wolf stunt and trying to fix it himself, he communicated this promptly to the team. The collective brainstorming that ensued not only resolved the issue in record time, but also birthed some innovative gameplay mechanics. Pedro's story underscores how open, transparent communication can turn challenges into opportunities for innovation. Pro tip. Encourage open dialogue, both about work and beyond. Informal communication often leads to the most creative solutions, so schedule regular virtual coffee breaks, water cooler chats, and team building activities. These are great for brewing innovation and strengthening team bonds. Chapter 3. Navigating through side quests. Managing conflict. 
Conflicts in a team are like those unpredictable PvP encounters in MMORPGs. They can be challenging, frustrating, but also rewarding if handled correctly. Think of them as necessary side quests that can boost your XP and add depth to your main quest. Consider the case of Amina, a lead artist. When two team members clashed over character design's artistic direction, she didn't shy away from the situation. Instead, she facilitated an open discussion, guiding her team members to focus on their shared goals of creating an immersive, engaging game experience. The result? Not only did they emerge with a compelling, unified design, but they also developed newfound mutual respect. Pro tip. Remember, conflict isn't a boss battle that needs to be avoided. It's an opportunity for growth. Healthy debates can lead to more robust creative solutions, encouraging open communication and strengthening team bonds. Chapter 4. Building the Guild Hall, Fostering a Sense of Belonging Ever wonder why Guild Halls are so popular in MMORPGs? They give players a shared sense of identity, a place where they can regroup, share experiences, and collectively celebrate victories. Similarly, fostering a sense of belonging within your team is crucial for a winning culture. Remember Ling, a quirky yet talented sound engineer who created custom victory jingles for every team milestone? While it may seem eccentric, this simple act fostered a unique team identity, made everyone feel valued, and introduced the fun tradition that everyone looked forward to. Pro tip, look for opportunities to create shared experiences and traditions that can help foster a sense of belonging. Celebrate milestones, appreciate individual achievements, and ensure that everyone feels seen and appreciated. Chapter 5. Boss Battle. Leading by Example. Just like the party leader in a high-stakes Dota match sets the game strategy, you, as a team leader, are responsible for setting the tone of your team culture. You're the standard bearer of values such as respect, transparency, collaboration, and innovation. Take the example of Fatima, a team lead who took it upon herself to debug a particularly challenging code. Instead of delegating the task, she rolled up her sleeves and dived into the problem-solving process with her team. This not only solved the problem at hand, but sent a powerful message across the team. Every role is essential, and every challenge is a collective one. Pro tip. Remember your actions speak louder than your words. Show your team that you're not just a task delegator, but a teammate who's willing to face challenges head on. Chapter 6. Victory Dance. Celebrate and Success. Celebrations are to a team what epic loot is to an RPG adventurer. They're not just rewards for accomplishments, but also recognitions of the hard work, dedication, and creativity that made those accomplishments possible. Celebrations have the power to boost morale, acknowledge contributions, and fuel desire for future quests. Recall Yuna, a project lead who decided to surprise her team with a virtual party after a successful game launch. The team felt the surge of appreciation, their hard work acknowledged, and their spirits uplifted. Pro tip. Remember, celebrations don't always have to be big. Even a simple shout-out during a team meeting, congratulatory email, or a post-it note of appreciation can make your team feel valued and appreciated. So, final thoughts. Cultivating a winning culture in a game development team isn't a side quest. It's the main quest. It's a challenging journey that demands strategic decision-making, empathy, and a strong sense of camaraderie. As you venture through this quest, you'll face daunting boss battles, but with each victory, you'll gain XP and level up. Not just as a leader, but as a team. Remember, the goal isn't just to finish the game, it's to enjoy the journey, learn from each battle, and come out stronger. Alright, that's this week's episode of Press Start Leadership Podcast. Thanks for listening, and as always, thanks for being awesome. Oh, hi there. The episode's over, but thanks for sticking around till the end. If you're on the quest to elevate your team's leadership, production, or game design capabilities, I'm here to assist. Leveraging extensive experience and a strategic approach, 
I offer personalized audits, bespoke workshops, and leadership retreat facilitation to drive your team toward excellence. My commitment is to provide efficient, reliable, and proven support, ensuring you have the tools and insights needed to thrive. Ready to unlock your team's full potential and achieve unparalleled success? Don't hesitate to press start on your journey to transformation today. Feel free to reach out directly to discuss how we can tailor a solution to meet your unique needs and goals. Let's connect and take your team's performance to the next level.